Globally, the cement industry faces mounting pressure to address the issue of carbon dioxide emission and seek solutions for its mitigation. The CSR cement plants have lower carbon footprint, they are very cheaper, have high uh, durability and they perform uh, better than the cement at the market. So we've taken the, uh, the cement plants to the precast manufacturer to use the cement plant to produce some of our products such as bricks, pavers and towels. Essentially what the kiln does, it acts as a converter for converting clay into metakeolin through the removal of structural water from the clay to come up with a reactive type of product which we call metakeolin. The kiln is designed for 30 tons per day, nominal capacity. When it works passively, if it acts actively, that production capacity will also go up. The kiln that we would be offering to our potential licensees, they will be taking at least three such kilns at 30 tons per day in order to produce 100 tons per day of metakeolin which will subsequently be blended with normal, pure, same one cement and other cement additives to produce the cement blends. The kiln would be affordable to SMMEs. It would be way cheaper than alternatives. But with this technology, it would be easy to get new entrants into the cement producing uh, business. So the feedback that we received from the precast manufacturers was that the CSR cement plant, within their operation, there was nothing that needed to be changed. They follow exactly the same processes that they usually use when they are using the cement at the market, which was a win for us. The CSIR developed metacaulin based cement blends can be produced and sold at competitive prices, comparable to imported cement rates, creating jobs and reducing carbon emissions.